from the National Weather Service in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is the routine weekly briefing for Central North Carolina covering the period Monday, March 7th, 2022 through March 13th, 2022. The upcoming weather pattern for this week, uh, you can see all the key points that I have on the right hand side of the screen. There are several of them for today. I'm gonna cover all of those in a little bit more detail on the next slide. After we have a little bit of dry weather come through on Tuesday after tonight's rain, we'll have another stretch of wet and cooler weather going Tuesday night through Thursday. We'll then have a little bit of a break from the rain Thursday night and Friday, and then some more widespread rain again Friday night into Saturday. And then we'll finally have a little bit of a drier stretch of time along with some cooler temperatures for Sunday. So as I said, there's lots of weather going on today. So taking a look at the heat, we are forecasting near record temperatures at all three of our official climate sites. So 81, 85, and 84 at Greensboro, RDU, and Fayetteville. We do have a wind advisory in effect that went into effect at 10 a.m. this morning, and that will go into effect through 7 p.m. tonight. It will continue through 7 p.m. tonight. Uh, you can see that generally that wind advisory kind of goes along the US 64 corridor and locations to the north. Taking a look at the bottom right graphic, you can see what some potential peak wind gusts are. Again, you can see those 40 uh, to as high as 50 mile an hour winds, again, primarily north of US 64. To the south, we certainly could end up seeing some stronger wind gusts anywhere between 30 and 40 miles an hour in that area as well. Taking a look at the bottom left graphic, uh, that forecast uh, was just updated. It wasn't really changed that much. Um, that is taking a look at our severe weather potential for today. We are under a level two risk for severe weather in that yellow area, mainly the triad to the west. There is also a corridor of a marginal risk for severe weather in the darker green. And then in the lighter green shading, that is where we have a chance for general thunderstorms. We are not expecting to see anything severe there. I will say at this point that we aren't seeing a huge threat for thunderstorms in general. That being said, we still would end up having a risk for uh, stronger wind gusts other than that wind advisory that we were talking about on the right hand side. But this would be in showers, in rain showers that would be occurring that timing for the triad would probably be during the evening hours, maybe 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., and possibly as late as midnight as we end up going uh, into that marginal area. So again, we normally end up expecting the severe weather with thunderstorms. We're not too convinced that there will necessarily be thunder as the rain ends up coming in, but certainly some of these stronger showers could end up bringing some wind gusts as well. Taking a look at our accumulated precipitation through the next seven days. At this point, the only potentially dry 24 hour period that we're looking at is actually towards the very end of the forecast, looking at Saturday night into Sunday. Otherwise, you can see all of these different graphics that we have here all end up showing some amount of rain predicted over our area. Uh, so that unsettled pattern should allow for a widespread one and a half to two and a half inches of rain over the next seven days with Tuesday night into Wednesday looking like the wettest 24 hour period in that seven day forecast. Again, taking a look at that severe weather outlook, you can see that graphic that we ended up having, uh, the Monday graphic, that's the broader view showing the chance of severe weather extending from New Jersey and Pennsylvania all the way down into Georgia. On Tuesday, we're expecting that a chance for thunderstorms would remain to our south, though some of our southern counties could be clipped on Wednesday with a chance of thunderstorms. Doesn't look like there would be any potential for severe weather anywhere across the United States on Thursday. We are also looking again at the possibility for some thunderstorms Friday night into Saturday. Taking a look at the excessive rainfall out. It appears that there shouldn't be any threat across our area today, and it looks like that threat would remain just to our west tomorrow, particularly tomorrow night. But there would be a marginal risk for excessive rainfall across the central portion of our state on Wednesday. 
taking a look at the drought. This is something that we've been keeping you updated on for several months. You can end up seeing the image on the left is from the last drought monitor outlook that was released. That was valid through Tuesday, March 1st. I have that compared to the previous one on the right hand side. You can see that there was a slight decrease in the yellow area, which is D0 or abnormally dry. Uh, for those areas northeast of the triad and northwest of the triangle. Now, while there have been pretty much dry conditions everywhere over the last seven days that may lead to a further expansion. I certainly don't want to say that that is guaranteed to happen, but we have been dry over the last seven days. That being said, the next seven days that we have upcoming will provide, like I said, it's looking like it could be uh, one to two to three inches of rainfall. And, and I would expect that if there was any increase in the abnormally dry area in the outlook that comes out this coming Thursday, I would expect that that may be reversed over the next seven days after that. Taking a look at the eight to 14 day outlook, you can end up seeing that our entire forecast area uh, is looking like they have a uh, probability of having above normal temperatures through that period. And then it could be an above normal period for precipitation uh, broadly to our Northwest. Wanted to point out again that this is North Carolina's 2022 severe weather preparedness week that began yesterday and will go through this coming Saturday. I would also like to emphasize that the North Carolina statewide tornado drill is scheduled for this Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. We will not have our weekly NOAA weather radio alert test that typically happens between 11 a.m. and noon each Wednesday that will be replaced with this statewide tornado drill occurring on Wednesday. Wrapping everything up with our weather summary today, again, a lot going on, the near record warmth, a wind advisory for our northern counties, a slight risk of severe weather in the triad, and then we will end up having rain tonight. I don't think I specifically said that earlier. Uh, you can see at least looking at the bottom that the forecast for Raleigh is calling for a 70% chance of showers. We should have a little bit of a break from the rain during the day on Tuesday, then we'll have wet and cooler weather. Uh, Tuesday night, continuing Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday. We should have a little bit of a break in the rain Thursday night into Friday, and then more widespread rain again Friday night into Saturday. And then we have a dry and cooler stretch on Sunday. Again, just pointing out that this week is the North Carolina Severe Weather Preparedness Week, the statewide tornado drill at 930 on Wednesday. And in the upper right-hand corner, you can see that our hazards and impacts, the primary ones that we're expecting this week, is the slight risk of severe weather across the triad this evening and a marginal risk for excessive rainfall on Wednesday.